Hello, welcome to the daily. Sorry, uh, welcome to the daily political tarot readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you so much for being here, going through the news with me, holding my hand. <laughs> but boy, do we have some good stuff today! Ooh. All right, uh, ten percent of my income from everything Black and Orange goes to Feeding America at feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That is an ongoing thing. We have epic troll slayers. Thank you. We have a fantastic community because of you. Oh, you are so kind to each other. You are so kind to me, and I really appreciate it. And I don't, I don't, what is this? What are you doing? What, what are you doing? Oh. Oh. I don't get it. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> so, um, I we're starting with a funny meme today, so. We'll get to that in just one second. I just want to say 10% of my income from everything black and orange goes to Feeding America at feedingamerica.org. Did I say that? I can't remember. But it's important. And I do that. I put my money where my mouth is on my values. So, uh, yeah. And if you're watching this on replay, the important part, you don't have to listen to me jibber jab. You can go down in the description box and you can pick and choose what you want. Or you can watch the whole thing back on 1.25 speed. Yes. And... I completely forgot. I've been waiting months to, to wear this, and I completely forgot it was there. Uh, so my little, I have a little sparkly bunny here. So just a little sparkly bunny. Okay. <clears throat> so um, I, you know, I like to give credit uh, where I possibly can. You know, if you guys say if you guys say something funny, you know, when I read out your comments, I I try to say your name, try to give you some credit. Um, and if there's something I show, I tell you where I got it or what have you. Now, the thing about memes is that sometimes I don't know where it came from. So I can't give credit for this one. But I thought we could we should start out the week, the, the work week, traditional work week, with a meme. And I ran across this one. So... Uh, let me share with you. Apparently, in I'm guessing it was Japan, there were some kind of I don't know emergency like granny under I, I don't know exactly what it is, but the translation. God, the Richie says, "Oh, this is going to be good. I hope so." <clears throat> is Uh, no, this one. Safety pants. And so someone added, you can pants if you want to. You can clothe your big behind because your bum's in pants. And if you've got pants in this, it's not laundry time. <laughs> so, you can pants if you want to. <clears throat> anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you. Meme Monday, yes. Just, um, it made me laugh, so I thought I'd share. Okay, all right, all right, enough for that. Enough of this jocularity. All right, but, oh, I'm glad you guys liked it. Um, I'm really liking the, the Housewives Tarot these days, so I'm gonna use it again today. Um, I don't know what that is, Ricky, I'm sorry. sorry. Yes, men without pants. <laughs> men without hats, yes. Okay, um, you're gonna love this. Oh, okay. you're gonna love this. You ready? You ready? You ready? Four minutes in. If you don't know about this, this might be the, the best thing you hear all day. Ready? Trump's legal team are betting that he holds the rights to all of the letters he's printing in his new book. Right? You have heard about Trump. He's coming out with this book of letters by famous people. Letters, these lovely glowing letters that were sent to him by famous people, right? Um, and it's like Oprah and um, Kim Jong Un and, you know, all these, really. Um, well, you see, there are a couple of different problems with this book he's, that he's going to come out with of, of the letters. Two problems. 
one, uh, it was decided, it was J.D. Salinger, actually. J.D. Salinger's publisher in 1957, was it? Uh, published a bunch of his letters without his permission. And J.D. Salinger took the publishing house to court and won. And it set the precedent that the copy, copyright of a letter is, remains with the writer, not the recipient. So it, if Trump comes out with this book of letters, Oprah, all of these people could technically sue him for copyright infringement. Okay. Oh. Oh, but that's not the best part. Second problem, little, small little problem with his book of letters that he's coming out with. You know those letters from Kim Jong-un? Kim Jong-un, yeah? <clears throat> um, him publishing those, those, uh, those letters shows intent to make a profit when he failed to turn over the letters to the National Archives. Jack Smith could maybe interested. <laughs> yes. Yes. Intent to profit from the, the letters. Please tell me the the Kim uh, Jong Un. In in Korea they they revert his last name's Kim. His first name's Jong Un. Um, Kim Jong Un. Um, oh please tell me please tell me Trump is going to be in criminal trouble for those letters. Oh, please. And it shows intent to profit. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Brand. Karen Conroy is asking, wait, he, he didn't get approval with his mind? Five of Pentacles. Boo-hoo. Oh. All his whittle plans. Queen of Pentacles. Goodness, you're very bright, aren't you? That's better. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Wands. King of Cups. Five of Cups, Queen of Wands. Well, <clears throat> see, he was of a mind that this is his base of power. This is my Mar-a-Lago card. Queen of Pentacles, these would be the, 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 the rich, the wealthy, the uh, Pentacles are uh, Earth signs. And so Capricorn is one of the earth signs and Trump's Gemini moons in the 10th house of Capricorn, which is about aristocracy and status and all of that. And um, <clears throat> so all of these people of the, 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 uh, <laughs> the hoity and the toity and um, uh, four of wants to be his base of power, but now he's all up in his feelings and then emotionally disappointed, and then the Queen of Wands here, which is, uh, wh what, what, what did you do? <clears throat> I, I just love the look on her face. That that is like the look we all have towards Trump. What is this? What is this? But I don't know if I'm getting legal. I don't know if the, 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 does, does the book of letters show intent to profit? 
which will get Trump into legal criminal charges. Intent to profit. I mean, Obama, you know, he, he, he ha made reference to a lot of stuff. He looked through a lot of papers uh, for his research on, you know, his own stuff, but he didn't keep it. He just went and looked and then he left and he came and he looked and then he left. That's a whole different thing. Three of swords. There's so many legal problems coming for Trump right in the, right in his uh, lard based icing heart <laughs> lard based iced heart <laughs> probably one says wake me up when trump's in prison hey now now it's still worth it's still worth reading on these things i've got a death card at the beginning king of swords prosecutor there's the sun things Illumination, Eight of Cups, Evidence Laid Out, Five of Pentacles. Out in the cold. You don't have executive privilege. You can't do the whole, sir, sir, with tears in his eyes, Mr. President. No. No, you're just a criminal. You're just a base, pathetic narcissistic criminal there's nothing special about you there really isn't Trump. uh so this could be a problem for him all right um and it says to coin a phrase from mcdonald's i'm loving it um Who said this? Linda J says, Big Brain thought that one up all by himself. <laughs> uh huh. Kelly B says he feels betrayed and hurt by these charges too. His widow feelings are hurt. Yes. M. Kelby says it hasn't gained much momentum yet, but Defendant Donnie is going down. Yes. Thumbs up for Autumn. Thank you, Kathy Lampson. Thumbs up, subscription. They really do help if you wouldn't mind. It's free please. All right. So, um, so this was, that was the criminal side of it. So at 13, 15, uh, just a couple of cards are some of the others, other people, your Oprah's and, or others will, are they going to sue Trump? for breach of copyright. <laughs> oh, thank you, John. Thank you. Makes a difference. Thank you. Eight of Swords. Ooh, legally hemmed in. It's almost like incoming, like darts into the ground, big, big darts into the ground. And you're like, that's that's Trump. My nose is itching right on the end. Four of Pentacles. He doesn't have a leg to stand on. Three of Cups. Then again, he, that's what he does. He steals things. World card. Oprah's already come out and said something to the effect of, that was a long time ago. There's a whole different whole different thing. Empress, Ace of Swords. Well, that is the beginning of uh, legal matters. Empress, this is America, or it could be Oprah. I, I doubt it, but someone in prominence in the world here, um, people who are like, oh, no, no, no. I said that a long time ago because I didn't know you that well. But anybody who's going to sue Trump, get on with it. Seriously. Um, 
he's not going to have money, any money for very long. So that was the past. World Emperor's Swords. Hurry, hurry. If you're going to go, go, go. Call the lawyer. Go, go, go. All right. Alexandra Bellina says that's my recipe box. Oh, cool. All right. So uh, one thing I do want to check um, before we go any further at 16 minutes in. Yesterday, I read to you from that article about Trump's narcissism and how he he has no coping skills and he has these he he comforts himself with fantasies about violence and uh attacking people and uh, destruction um i picked up on that qu quite a while ago and then this this uh psychiatrist wrote a book and said yeah that's someone like this this is this, these are his fantasies the violence the he's he, that gives him comfort so uh alexandra bellina saying revenge yes but a particular kind of revenge not serve cold at all and i noticed let me pull up the Yeah, it's this article, share screen. This was yesterday. This article came out, published April 9th. Donald Trump shows up at UFC martial arts events in Miami. It's like, yeah. Uh, and apparently it's now owned by a friend of his. So he had, I guess, reason to get free tickets or whatever, but um, he waved the cheering crowd. He, is there, are there any more pictures? No, that's it. But UFC martial arts is brutal. So for funsies he didn't go golfing nothing like that he went and watched violence so i want to on a you know every day or two or three i want to keep checking in on trump's mental state because i don't think he can actually inspire his followers to do anything particularly untoward but it's the the violence i'm concerned about So, <clears throat> Deborah Johnson said he's trying to show he's tough, setting the narrative before prison. Like, like Secret Service would ever let anybody near him. It just, I think Trump would need to worry about his boredom. So, um, the whole violence thing. And yes, he did. Who was it up here who was saying, it's in all caps, I think. At least Elisa was saying he tweeted World War III over the weekend. That is a coping skills of a turnip. Seven of Pentacles, F fruits of labor, my, my, my stuff, my, 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 two of cups, people who are close to him, two of wands, page of swords, all right, it, the, the little bully running with scissors, uh, getting sticky hands on the uh, walls, so him acting badly. 
there are still some people who are trying to be supportive of him, who are near him, while he's ranting and raving. Far right communication. So right now we're still minor arcana. It's not pleasant, but he hasn't pushed everybody away yet. So we'll keep checking in. So uh, Joan, he was asking about his mental state. Do you think he's going to try to show he's mentally unable to stand trial? I've read on this uh, quite a few times. His narcissism will allow him to do that. He'll, he can go in there and, and like thumb his nose. Like the time he went in for the deposition and the whole time they were like, this piece of paper, is this your signature? Did you, did you do this? Would you please read this? And he just went, oh, I don't have my glasses. Oh, I, I don't have my glasses. Sorry. I just, he didn't say sorry either. Just, I don't have my glasses. See, that's just thumb in your nose. Um, but actually going for some kind of mental instability plea. Uh, the, the personality disorder narcissism is brutal. And um, yeah. So, okay. Um, I don't know if, how this could exactly... Like, I don't see how this is necessarily a smoking gun, but I could be wrong. 2145. Newsweek. Newsweek is reporting this. So this is not some fly-by-night rumor mill. All right? The news is not guaranteed to be accurate. But, you know, if someone, if we've got a decent, uh, Newsweek has a good reputation. All right? Newsweek is reporting that written correspondence between former Trump campaign chair Paul Manafort, one of our least favorite people, but there are so many to choose from, and Kremlin aide Konstantin Kalimnik discussed Putin claiming part of Ukraine, saying that a wink from Trump was needed to make this work. How involved in planning was Trump? Could he eventually face charges? Well, could he eventually face charges at the Hague for for helping facilitate what's going on in Ukraine? No, uh, he's not going to end up in the Hague. I, I, that, that we're not a part of that treaty. I don't believe. Um, death card. Oh, the amount of damage that man did. Ten of Cups. Moon, Nine of Swords. He's got he's got huge legal worries over the chaos, and would certainly be happy. But this is this is his other legal worries. I don't I don't get the Hague, uh, but will will it be proven that? through Manafort, who was apparently at the time of this was the um, campaign chair. Will it matter? Will it, will it be proven, basically, that, that Trump was helping Russia with Ukraine? Six of Pentacles. Donald well, Trump with his hand, his tiny little hands in the cookie jar. Insult injury militarily. That's five of swords, eight of cups, emperor. Well, insult to injury militarily. Eight of cups is ga evidence gathered about the emperor. Y yes and no. It, it's and I've, I've got major arcana here, but it does, the energy isn't overwhelming. So I don't know that by the time they're really looking at this, I wonder if this is going to be more like in the history books, not criminally charged. So. Polly Wanda asked, does it ever end well for a narcissist? Um, 
get sad because we all leave this <clears throat> we all leave this life at some point and um mm. what it what you know he's gonna realize that the only thing he has to show for his life are his kids who we treated horribly so just thought we'd check karen taylor had a great question at 25 30 Will Trump, will anyone, anyone make Trump post bail? Jack Smith? Or the DOJ, rather? Funny Willis? Somebody else? Will anyone actually make Trump post bail? Yes, please. Doesn't feel like it, but Lisa Lisa says, please let the bail be forty forty five trillion dollars. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <sighs> Knight of Swords. Good lawyers. Yeah, I realize a lot of most of Trump's lawyers come out of a bubblegum machine. Put your quarters in, you get the plastic, you turn the thing, you get the plastic bubble, you pop it open, add water, and poof, lawyer. That's the quality of Trump's lawyers, but he has a few good ones. Magician. Ta-da! Of sorts. Hemmed in. Five of Cups, five, five of Cups, Disappointment, Eight of Pentacles, Working, 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 Judgment. Well, this is a big, I should be able to do what I want, ta-da! And this is all of the, uh, this is being hemmed in. So it's legally hemmed in disappointment about legally being hemmed in. Now this is work by his lawyers, but you end up with a big judgment here. It's a possibility. I don't, you know, I'm, I tell, I tell you when I, when I, when the energy is strong and when it's not, when it's weak or weaker and I, the cards are saying yes, but my, the energy is kind of, it might, it either, it could be a eh, or it could be, it's going to be such a length of time that we're just not close enough to it yet to get stronger energy off of it. But um, there's a, there's a real possibility. And disappointment when he's hemmed in. So there's a, there's a real possibility. It could be he gets he they 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 set bail and then he's appealing and his lawyers are appealing and then again I wouldn't say his lawyers are appealing. All right. Um, oh, number five. Twenty nine minutes in. Say it, say it with me. Yes, please. There are distraught Trump voters who claim they will never vote again if Trump does not win in 2024. Promise? Never going to vote again, huh? Oh, no, you shouldn't let that happen. No, I, I really do want everyone to vote. I do. I would I would drive a Republican to the polling station because I am a part of civilization. And this is what this is what civilization does. We vote. But gonna gonna take your cafe and go home, huh?
their emperor. The, the uh, Republican establishment, oh, the white supremacy card. Gosh, you're not going to be uh, fewer white supremacists voting. Oh, I'm, sho I'm shocked. No, don't go. No, do, do, do come back and vote. Bye. Bye now. Bye. Yeah, Kathy Ritchie. Okay. Alexander Bellino says, you're a better man than I, Gunga Din. <laughs> Swords. Five of swords, insult to injury, two of wands, the far right communication, they put off their own voters, high priestess, secrets, it's a cabal. It's this is this is cloud cuckoo conspiracy land. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. The exits are in the back of the wings or here at the front. Bye bye now. Bye bye. All right. Um, it's already 145. Cindy Lou had a question. 145 about the um, his his Easter greetings. I have not read the Easter greetings. If you guys actually have you read? Because apparently there's a there's some reference to World War Three. Oh, Karmama, thank you. Thank you for thank you for coming, member. Um, oh, Carolyn, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> so Trump's World War Three. Uh, anyway, I don't know what it said. I I just heard that he he said something about World War Three, and it was in all caps. So the question is, will Trump lose more followers after his World War III Easter greetings? <laughs> yes, Wheezy Squeezebox, how cheerful. Oh, that's that's rude. But um, do, do, I know some of you watch Hal Sparks. Uh, it, this, it just reminds me of the, the World War III and Easter greetings. Um, do you know do you know what he calls um, especially junior but people who who use the air quotes um i use it when it's an actual quote but he's usually looking at people on the other side and they when they use the air quotes it's usually something nasty and uh he what he says is oh you've brought out little bunny views So the world World War Three Easter greetings. <laughs> so it's the little bunny use. Yeah. Yes, John. Trump wishing you a thermonuclear Easter. <laughs> it's gonna be a warm one. Oh, gonna lose some more followers. Seven of Swords, Thief card, stabbing in the back, absolute paranoia. Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles. It's also just trying to raise money. Temperance. Yeah, I'm gonna go with you on this one, uh, Anne. Anne Harding, who said, "Take a Xanax, Trumpy." Yeah. Yes, and the song "Little Bunny, Little Bunny Foo Foo" went hopping through the forest. Yeah, so that's what that's why I think it's "Little Bunny, You." Yeah. Yeah, Kathy Delisle, snap goes the psychopath. Cece <laughs> um, Ryder says, "Did not read. Nothing new. Can only take so much." I understand. Yes, Kevin. Kevin Brazil, it adds new meaning to the glow of Easter morning. <laughs> yeah. 
it, it, it's grift. He's, there's so much evidence against him. Um, Six of Pentacles. Uh, he's trying to get money. Yeah, there are some people. There, there are definitely people getting sick of it. That's the big, big Temperance card there, where it's like, really, really. Oh, I missed something up here. Yeah. All right. Okay, Veldere had a question. I've I've read on this before, but we could look at it again. Uh, it's been it's been a long time since I read on it. Velda Ray is asking that rumor has it that Melania Trump is a Russian asset. What do the cards say? She's a Tiffany's asset. I can tell you that. The Emperor. She's staggeringly materialistic. Three of Cups, Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles. No, no I'm not getting. This is this is. She's just materialistic, um, and she. There's an argument to be made based on some photographs and other things that um, Melania at one point was more than just a bottle to to make ends meet. She, well, you could say she, yeah. Anyway, so um, she was looking for some rich guy. And then she met Trump, who is as selfish and materialistic as she is surprise so um this this is this is just us being like oh all the tea and this is her where she's not going to get as much money as she thinks she's going to get from the contract deba kell's asking was she a yacht girl um Sort of, if the yacht was in the middle of Manhattan. Ricky says they're made for each other. Uh, yeah. Hello, Poo Poo. How are you, sweetness? How are you doing? You bathing? He's having a bath. All right. May you rest well on this, our last day on earth. Happy Easter. Oh, this is stupid. It's so stupid. Okay. Uh, it's 3830. Please. In a case of projection so clear it's in technicolor, Trump is going off on Bill Barr's slovenly behavior. Bill Barr said basically Trump's in massive legal trouble and he's yeah going to be held accountable. And I can't stand Barr, but apparently Trump took exception with that and was calling Barr slovenly. Have you, have, have, do you own a mirror? Really? Do you? I'm starting to wonder if he owns a mirror. I mean, Narcissus the whole thing was mirrors, actually reflection in the pond, but so you could see, we just, he's, nar, the originally in the myth, nar, um, Narcissus, he, he stared at himself until he wasted away, wasted away and died because he was so fascinated by his own looks and he thought he was so beautiful and all of this. But sometimes I wonder if the man owns a, owns a mirror. Oh, mama, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, is this a case of Trump realizing he's about to be swimming in indictments, so he's swinging at whatever he can in the meantime? I, I think so. But Anne Harding says Trump is a sloth. Oh, he's all seven deadly sins. Pride. Yeah. Ding. 
greed, ding, uh, lust, ding, sloth, ding, gluttony, ding, <laughs> just, it goes on and on. Whew. Ace of Wands. Birds, birds of a felon. Thank you again, Karma. Thank you. King of Cups, all in his feelings. Nine of Cups, Two of Wands, Five of Swords, insult to injury. Five of Wands. So chaos, chaotic. Yeah, Trump's freaking out. He's in his feelings. He just, he's not, Trump is incapable of being grateful for everything Barr did for him. And if you didn't burn that, yeah, then again, this is, I, see, look at me, trying to find something like, well, if you'd just done this, if you just, things wouldn't be so bad. The man is an insurrectionist, seditionist. He's a traitor to our country. He is a rotten human being. Donald Trump is the human embodiment of all seven deadly sins. There's no point in me trying to say, well, but if he just, if you just did this. Cancer moan. Uh, yeah, it's, and there's chaos ahead and Trump's all up in his, he's all up in his feelings. Bye, Felicia. Okay. Finzenberger um, wants to know about William Barr. 4230. What is William Barr about? Will he be indicted for lying, thus abetting obstruction, e.g. the Mueller report in some distant future? Good question. Yeah, twice impeach Cheryl, Cheryl Clark, exactly. Yes, Deba Cal, exactly. He Trump will not do anything to make himself a good person. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Um forty Bill Barr. Oof. Times like this, I when I'm getting into the energy of Bill Barr or some of these people where it's like, I don't drink, right? No, I don't. I don't take drugs, right? No, I don't. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> and in fact, there was a comment recently uh, in the comment section. Someone said they were worried about me going into this dark energy every day. I understand. But I'm a news junkie. I go into it anyway. Um, and I read on it because I, I start worrying. Uh, but I thank you. Um, prayers are always welcome, <laughs> or Reiki, or you know, whatever. I'm, I'm grateful. Uh, okay, so Billy, Billion Bar, Build a Bar, the Rotten Potato. Four of Swords. Well, yeah, I'm not talking about talking about legal silence. Yeah, we know what you did to the Mueller report. You trade. Death Guard. High Priestess. Sun. Queen of Wands. Strength. Uh this would be, this feels like it's, if anything, it's far in the future. It's more like historians. It's more like later legal stuff. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's anytime soon, unfortunately. 
the the big stuff already happened the biggest stuff here but i mean there's more there's stuff that will eventually come to light um this queen of wands is this what Barr did or what people will do is this what Barr and the republicans did before or is this what Barr and the republicans will do in future Let me double check it's clarification on that one Janelle says, I like the sun in there. I do too. And it, it actually feels pretty good this time, which is good. Valerie Sargent, I like that. Run, there's a bar. But definitely. Definitely. Ah, ah. Run. Yeah. Kelly B says, Four of Swords represents banishment and change and success of things coming to light. It can. <laughs> I I do like hearing I do like hearing what you guys what you guys think is uh, what you're picking up. Um, it's it's just funny when uh, it is probably worded to to be neutral, but it, it kind of sounds like you're telling me what the cards mean. It's like I kind of do this every day. I'm not perfect. I don't have all the answers. No one who does is 100 percent right. It just it's just funny. It just the way it's, and it's probably just to be neutral, to not be, to try to not, you know, offend or what have you. But I just, I just find it funny. I, I, I tell you what, I, it feels like the cards are, are saying. They, they have their original meanings. And then there's, there's also what it feels like. So sometimes I pull cards and the, the feeling I get is, has nothing to do with the cards. And it's like, okay, well, I'll go with the feeling. So, um, are you is what is William Barr about? Will he be indicted for lying, thus abetting obstruction? Let me change this to 47. And I think I need to close this door. You okay? Huh, weird noises. That kind of day. <sighs> Anne says, so good to share the meanings with the chat group. Yes. Oh, I'm glad I helped, Jepper. Thank you. Right. We were so excited about the Mueller report. So excited. Four of Wands, World, Empress. So will Barr eventually be indicted for lying and abetting obstruction? It's not good. It's see when I when I try to read on the Mueller report, are they gonna, you know, reopen it, go back to it? The energy is just dead. <laughs> it's just there's, there's not much energy there, but I read on, like, will they eventually, and then I get things like world and empress, like major arcana, the country seeing, the, the end of the way it was, and what Barr did in the past to protect Trump. This is Trump's space of power, it, it just being back here. So will it eventually, will the Mueller report, will it eventually be revisited and what have you? I get a big yes, but... I, I, it's just it's just not there's only so much bandwidth and i just it doesn't seem i haven't heard anything but also it just doesn't feel like anyone's really focused on bar and the Mueller report right now so it's gonna be it's gonna be a while uh okay back here Hang on. Just having a quick look at Fried Smith, who said Autumn reads the cards like a comic book. <laughs> Okay. 
All right, I'm just going to do my thing. All right, 50, 30. Lisa Lisa has a question. At 50, 30. Was the release of the top secret documents on Twitter some sort of payback for Trump's arrest? It kind of feels like Russia is beyond that. Because the thing about Trump's arrest is that when whoever got, whoever got these these this information, these documents in the first place, they didn't get it that day. Or it's unlikely they got it that day or the day before. For, I mean, this has probably happened at least a week or two before. So then again, there was talk up until... Let's have a look, maybe. It was the release of the top secret documents on Twitter since there were payback for Trump's arrest. I was picking up that it's ideological. Thank you, Fran. Dania says your cards are kind of comic book looking. I love them. Oh yeah, this, the, the housewife's uh, tarot deck is fantastic. Ta-da! Here, top secret documents. Look what I have. I think I'm betraying the country. Thank you, Azalea. Uh, Anne says, you tell the meanings as a story. Mucky reality story, but good at conveying the meaning. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you. So, ooh, Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who's so proud that they have access to the stuff. And they have the power. That they could get access to this stuff. And they can... can do something to get this out there. So sickly proud of themselves and how important they are. Did your parents not hug you as a child? Is that the is that the deal? Oh, spiral eye. Thank you. Wait, it's a little sparkly bunny. Magician to the star. Page of swords. Ha, ha, ha. I do what I want. Is it with this person? King of swords. Four of cups. Refusal. King of swords. I could get in trouble, but I'm not going to. This is a refusal. They're not going to find me. <clears throat> For what it's worth, I'm not getting Trump. I'm getting this person's pathetic narcissism. And I realize that the, the, the personality disorder narcissism is its own thing. But I'm I'm talking about in the general sense of, you know, they're different kind of just among among the lay people, there are different kinds of narcissists. And this is one of those absolutely pathetic, mansplaining jerks who is just feels so small inside, is so pathetic and petty, and has so little sense of self-worth that they're just they get access to this important, exclusive stuff. And they just, of course, because I'm special. I can do this. I can do what I want. I don't have to pay. I don't have to abide by rules anybody else does. I'm, But it's all, it is so inwardly focused that it, it could, it could have something to do with Trump. But I, it, this is just... Um, I don't even know the, the best way to describe it. It's like the energy, all the energy, it goes out and then it, it all caves back in and just goes out and in, out and in, just, con just constant, as opposed to a healthy like energy aura, energy field, what have you, where you have your, your energy and your, your chakras and, you know, and you can reach out and you've got your, you know, things, your, your, healthy, healthy, uh, 
barriers and you know all of this stuff this is this is just feeding an, an some kind of inner void um and th this 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 is one of those jerks you avoid you avoid him at you avoid him on dating apps you avoid him at dinner parties you avoid him because you take one look at him and the way he's just so full of himself but in a really pathetic, I'm so special way that it's like, oh, and your friends are like, well, he's single. You're like, you no, no kidding. Or if he has a, I don't know if this person has a wife, but it's like, you he's single and you're single. Okay, that's, yeah, we're both homo sapien too. And that's as close as that gets. Ugh. All right. Um, oh, the bling, the bling bunny. Oh, I like that, Mrs. Katara. The bling bunny. Yes, and the little bunny. Hello, sweetness. It's just a little bunny. All right. Uh, 56, 30. Yes, I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm using a baby voice to talk to my pin. Um, Elder Ray had a question. Jim Jordan. Jim Jordan has requested former New York assistant DA Mark Pomerantz appear before him and answer questions about the tr Trump investigation and his own resignation. Pomerantz told Jordan, read my book. Will Pomerantz appear? Pomerantz may have had his issues with Bragg, but he's not interested in helping Jim Jordan. So Jim Jordan has requested. So Pomerant's going to show up, and 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 there's talk that um, Jim Jordan is looking for people who feel like they've been wronged by Bragg in some way, shape, or form. And talk about pathetic. I'm <clears throat> man. I'm mean, look. I I never thought that Jim Jordan was the sharpest knife in the drawer. But how, it's like, wow, you really are that dense. You really are that dense that you think that could possibly work. You're trying, you're trying to do some kind of PR runaround, which takes a certain level of finesse and emotional intelligence. If you're going to, if you're going to really emotionally manipulate people, you need some emotional intelligence. Unless, of course... You just have one speed and that's air horn. And that's not finesse and that won't win. And just yelling doesn't help you. So anyway, Pomerantz, the son, his book's already out there. The story's there, read the book. Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, Jim Jordan thinks he, he's got something here. He's got something here. Jim Jordan, I think, is already his, his staffers have already read the book, or the committee staffers have. Three of Cups. Ten of Wands. This is just the burden. This is just the mess that Jordan, not exactly soaring like an eagle. Uh, it, it just, under the weight of all this garbage, you, you don't we're going to be laughing. Yeah. That, nice try. Nil point. Oh, you're a scumbag. All right. <clears throat> oh, no. Greg Abbott, cruel King Abbott of Texas. Oh, the people we have elected in this country can be terrifying. 50, but we're going to be okay. One hour in. Jenny Strange and Jelia uh, both asked about this. Uh, Greg Abbott appears to be ready to pardon someone who murdered a man at an Austin protest rally. Will this actually happen, or is he just toying with the idea? 
CC Ryder says, I can hear these idiots yelling, for reclaiming my time every time Pomerantz answers a question with bad facts about Donald Trump's crimes. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, Linda Johnson, yes, Jordan try, is trying to stop Democrats from asking any questions in the committee. Valerie Sargent, yes, what does Jordan want to hear? Pomerantz wanted to prosecute. So, Greg Abbott, are you going to pardon someone who murdered? A man at a protest rally. Deborah Johnson saying it was a Black Lives Matter protester. Um, I don't. I don't understand these people. I, and I do not understand Cruel King Abbott. I just, I just don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. You're really going to pardon? Really? It doesn't feel like it, but Four of Wands. Oh, he's trying to out MAGA the MAGAs. Hierophant. Wheel of Fortune. Five of Wands, Hanged Man, Moon. Oh boy. Okay, all I've got four major arcana. So big energy of big changes in the way institutions are run. You don't say. This five of wands, this is about riling up the the MAGA people. And I've got a hanged man in moon here. I, uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep my energy out of this because I'm guessing this person's not on death, is not gonna be on death row. Um, but I just, I don't believe in the death penalty anymore. Um, it's been many, 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 many years since I did. Uh, hanged man and moon. So is this jerk going to walk? Three of Pentacles. Or is this just a story that, that Abbott is telling to make it look a certain way and get his far right numbskulls all excited? Ten of Wands. Star. Page of Swords. Well, definitely the, the spoiled brat, I do what I want. Fool. Six of Swords. He might. That would be really stupid. I've got a fool walking away in this deck. I've, I see the woman walking away. Just walking on those swords, just moving along. I wouldn't think so, but... Cards are not saying no. Anne Harding says, "How can so many cruel people belong to a political party? How did the how did the Nazis rise?" All the people in China. Why haven't they risen up against the the cruel party?
Pentacles, Five of Cups. This is us. That's a, that's our side emotionally disappointed. This is Ten of Pentacles, which is the uh, Republican establishment as it is. I've got a Devil card. I've got the Seven of Wands, and I've got King of Cups. This this might be something federal gets involved at some point, but that's what happened. This is on the defensive. I, I'm, yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> what else have we got? <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Yes. Yes. I forgot about this, but yes, we have to read on it. Oh, the dumb is stupid. Sometimes the dumb hurts. You know what I mean? Sometimes the stoop sometimes the stupid just hurts. Okay. <clears throat> oh. 106. One of seven. Oh, the stupid hurts. Uh, like, oh, oh, oh. Raw Story and Politico are both reporting that many GOP are warming up to Trump and MTG's idea of bombing Mexico in the name of battling drug cartels. There are currently bills by lawmakers in both chambers to get the ball rolling on this. Could it happen? So we're going to start bombing Mexico. I can't. I can't. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what else to do, Kitty. These people are crazy. Bombing. Bombing Mexico. Yes, indeed. Oh, the cartels. Right. Bombing Mexico. And what if Mexico fights back? We're going to go to war with Mexico? Minx of the Black Veil says, now are you really bombing Mexico or bombing the drug cartel? There could be a difference. No. <laughs> you, you, uh. Okay, let's, let's put it this way. The DEA definitely has agents all over getting into these cartels and undermining them from the inside. Even if you sent in, let's say, you know, it's like, okay, we don't want to, we don't want to send bombs because there could be too much collateral damage because drug cartel people, they're really big on the human shields, especially children. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Well, what if we send in like the equivalent of, of special forces or something? for surgical military strikes, but not involving bombing from above. And on Mexican sovereign soil, you don't think the world would turn against us? Mm. Knight of Pentacles, oh yes. When in doubt, bomb the thing. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> yeah. Better hope there aren't any kids that they've smuggled in there. Four of Cups. Six of Swords. 
please vote for Democrats. Please vote for Democrats. This this card in the center is a big. This is Democrats being like, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Um. Just no. <laughs> Until, unless Republicans get control of the presidency, the, House, the, the Senate and the House, no, we're not going to bomb Mexico. And this is just, <clears throat> could we, could we, I don't know, could we go maybe a year or two without a war? Just, just, a, just for fun, just for funsies, could we go without a war for a few years? I can't. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Fran, Urbina, exactly. Rich coming from the ones who've never been in the military. Mm hmm. Ace of Wands. Yeah, well, you can, you can, you can put that back in your, your, your pants. You can pants if you want to. Uh, you can clothe your big behind. Uh, Ace of Swords. Oh, yeah. Big, big thing. Three of Swords. Big, tough military. Four of Wands. Woohoo! Sitting here with my martini in the hammock, watching the bombs fall at, on TV while I'm in the lap of luxury. It's not entertainment, people. Do we need to do something about fentanyl? Yes. Do we need to do something about drug cartels? Yes. The best thing to do about drug cartels, convince Americans, hi, that if you are paying money to, for any kind of illegal drug or prostitution, that you are not a good person and you're paying for all of this. If there's no demand, it won't be supplied. It happened after after 9-11. Uh, certain kinds of drug use took a big dive. It's not impossible. But. Yes, Kelly B. Dear Cartel, MTG would like to speak to your manager. Please send someone from your complaints department to come pick her up. Thank you. <laughs> she is waiting in Georgia. Okay. Have a lovely day. Exactly. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Oh, it's 137. Okay. So I will, um, I will save these other questions for tomorrow. Let's do a, let's do a message for us because I don't want to, I just, I need, I need some good energy. You need some good energy. One, 13, 38 message for us. And tomorrow we'll look at the how the um, earliest there's a uh, tomorrow we will look at the spin up in the Gulf of Mexico as possible this week. Hurricane and tropical storm season is starting the earliest on record. We'll start with that tomorrow. All right, message for us, breathe. Ace of Cups. It's easy to get into your feelings. If the feelings are negative, do take some time. You take that cup of your emotions and you just put it down. Just walk away from it for, even if it's just for five or 10 minutes, just walk away. Pretend you're taking all your emotions, all of the, ah, and just like a little imaginary cup and just pour it into that and just put it down and go make a cup of tea or have some lemonade or something. Just get, just get away from, from that. All right. It's just King of Swords. Uh, these are prosecutors and prosecutors are working. Nine of Cups. This is all of the evidence laid out uh, for people doing have who've done horrible things. High priestess, this is smart women. 
this is Fonnie Willis, this is Letitia James, this is E. Jean Carroll, this is uh, all of these women who are very, very smart. And there's also going to be more coming out against these jerks, especially Trump. So good, good days are ahead. Uh, this is not a bathtub. <laughs> your negative, do not, do not bathe in your negative emotions, uh, if possible, at least for a little while, do. Just picture them going into a little, up and over there, and just leave it there for a while, all right? Because there's, prosecutors are out there, they're working, and it's, we're nearing go time, and it's going to be glorious. So, I hope you have a wonderful day. It is 1.40 p.m. here in Chicago. At 3 o'clock, I'll be over on the Creative Sprints channel. You're always welcome to, to join in. And other than that, I will be right back here tomorrow. I'm here 365 days of the year. Weekdays, weekends, your birthday, my birthday. I am always here. So we can go through the news together. All right? You're not alone. We are in this together. And there are good days ahead. There really are. So hang in there. All right, big hugs, big hugs, send you a hug if you need it, All right? And I will see you right back here tomorrow. Take care.